Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am gonna be sharing three 10 minute meals with you all. I always think it's really handy to have like a couple of quick and easy meals up your sleeve that you can just kind of get cooking when you've had a busy day and you need to get fed quickly. I really hope you guys enjoy these recipes. Two of them are pasta dishes. I do find that a lot of 10 minute meals are pasta dishes, but that's because they are so versatile and you can make a different pasta dish a night for a good couple of weeks if you want to. I really hope you enjoy these recipes. Don't forget to subscribe because I post loads of videos just like this one. As always, I'll have all the ingredients and quantities listed down below in my description box so you can recreate these meals whenever you want to. Thank you so much for watching and let's get cooking. This meal is going to become mussel linguine. So as you can see, it's got minimal amount of ingredients, which is just perfect when it comes to cooking quickly. So what I like to do is buy this sort of like mussel set. You can get these from any supermarket and they're great. You can choose from loads of different sources, but today I'm using the one in white wine and cream. Then I've got some fresh linguine. I've got one lemon and some parsley, and I'll also just use some salt and pepper for taste. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, you cook these mussels in five minutes. So in a wok, I'm just gonna pop them in there and I'm just going to pop the lid on, bring them up to the boil and cook them for the five minutes until they open up nicely. Whilst those are cooking, I will be also cooking my linguine on the side. Because this is fresh linguine, this does cook in about five minutes too. Once my linguine is cooked, I will then add the cooked linguine into my wok and mix them all together with my mussels. I'm then going to cut my lemon in half and I'm going to just squeeze half the lemon juice over my linguine and mussels. And then I'm going to just wedge up the other half so that I can put some on each plate. Once everything mixed together, I am then ready to serve. So I will just get a generous amount of linguine and my mussels along with some sauce too, put them into a bowl, and then I'll get my parsley, chop it up quite finely and sprinkle that over the top. Like I said, you can add some salt and pepper to taste if you would like, but that is it. This meal literally does take five to seven minutes to cook and it's packed full of flavor. <laughs> So for this meal, we're going to make some eggy wraps. So I bought these wraps from Waitrose. They're like flatbreads, but you can choose any kind of wraps you like. You can just choose like wholemeal or white wraps that you would use for fajitas. But I thought these ones were a little bit thicker and a little bit kind of like, um, softer and puffier so they would be more filling so i've got those and then when it comes to your filling you can actually put whatever you like in there i've just got some ham and some cheese but you can really spice this up with like falafels or you can put some halloumi in here uh salami you know the choices are endless and then what i have got here is two eggs that i've added some salt and pepper to and i've just like beat them up like this so what i'm going to cook this in is this big pan like this and you just want to kind of make sure that your wraps will be able to fit into your pan without kind of going up the side to make it as easy as possible to make the wraps really eggified. <laughs> so what I'm gonna start off by doing is I'm going to just add a little knob of butter into my pan, and then I'm just going to melt that down. Once that's melted down, I'm going to pour in my eggs. So like I said, I've beaten them up, so I'm just going to pour the eggs in and just wait for them to start to cook through from the bottom. Once they start to cook through, you're then ready to pop your wrap on top of the egg and then just wait a few more minutes for it to cook through a little more before flipping your wrap over with the egg attached to it. Once you've done that, you can then add in the rest of your filling. So like I said, I'm going to add some ham and some cheese and I will just let that cook through for a few minutes until the cheese has nicely melted before wrapping it up and serving it. You can serve this just as it is for a lunch, or if you want to, you can make a lovely salad on the side as well, completely up to you. But it's a super, super quick and easy meal, which can be different every single time you serve it. So this is again a pasta dish because pasta is always just quick and easy, but you can spice it up and have something different every single time. So this is going to become a tomato mackerel pasta. So. Bear with me on this one because it does sound a little bit odd, but honestly, it really, really does work. So in here, I have diced up one onion and two garlic cloves. Then I've put in half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and I've also put in two teaspoons of smoked paprika. 
I know the cinnamon sounds strange, but it really does work, like I said. I have got some passata here. I've got soft cheese. I've got the fresh pasta again, and then I've also got some mackerel fillets and some salt and pepper. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm just gonna saute off my onion and garlic and cinnamon and paprika mix. Whilst those are sauteing, I'm going to get my pasta into a pot of boiling water and just cook that through. Once my onions and garlic have sauteed for a few minutes, I'm then ready to get cooking the rest of my meal. So I'm going to remove the skin from my mackerel and flake that into my onion and garlic mix. I'm then going to use 400 grams of my passata and I'm going to actually just fill my bottle with a little bit of water too to make sure I get all of the nice bits of tomato in the jar without wasting any, as well as 100 grams of my soft cheese and some salt and pepper. I'm just gonna let that all simmer away for a good five minutes so all those flavors can infuse into one another. If you want to add some olives to this dish, they go really, really well, but my family, apart from me, don't like olives. So I'm gonna leave those out today, but they are really, really good in here as well. My pasta will be done now, so I'm just going to add one tablespoon of the pasta water into my mackerel mix, and then I'm going to drain my pasta off and add the pasta to my sauce. I'm gonna mix everything together and serve. This can be served as it is, or it's also really good with some fresh parsley sprinkled over the top. So those are the three recipes I wanted to share with you today. I really hope you enjoyed them. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video, and I will see you soon. Bye.